Hashimoto's is one of the most common thyroid disorders in the U.S. and it can have a huge impact on your health and lifestyle. Uh, it's an autoimmune disorder that causes white blood cells or lymphocytes to destroy your thyroid tissue. And your thyroid is a gland that sits uh, in the base of your neck and is responsible for releasing a lot of different hormones, uh, thyroid hormones. Uh, these hormones are almost affect every organ in your body and so damage to them can affect your health and your well-being. Uh, if you think you have Hashimoto's, then it's important to go to your doctor and get tested. Uh, some of the symptoms that you can see in uh, Hashimoto's is dry skin, fatigue, uh, constipation, increased cold sensitivity, muscle weakness, uh, joint aches, sleepiness. Uh, Hashimoto also puts a greater risk at developing other autoimmune conditions as well, uh, such as diabetes and other things. Uh, so one of the biggest challenges that people experience uh, with this condition, Hashimoto's, is weight gain or trouble losing weight. Uh, there's a number of reasons for this struggle, uh, with the biggest thing being that the hormone imbalance that occurs with this condition, because thyroid hormones are responsible for regulating your metabolism. Uh, your thyroid secretes uh, T4 and T3. Uh, these are the hormones responsible for regulating how the body uses energy. Uh, they also help you control your weight, muscle strength, body temperature, nervous system. Uh, so they have a lot of effects. Uh, but imbalance and these hormones will have a profound impact on your ability to lose weight then. So choosing the right diet uh, for weight control uh, is very important when you have Hashimoto's. You want to be on the right diet to help reduce inflammation, uh, which is thought to be a key cause uh, in Hashimoto's uh, when it comes to weight gain. Uh, some things that you can do with your diet include eliminating grains. Uh, some of the studies have shown that eliminating grains can help reduce the thyroid antibodies uh, in your body and help improve thyroid function. Uh, eliminating grains may also help reduce inflammation, um, so that can help as well. Lots of people with Hashimoto's also have celiac, and with celiac, you also want to re reduce grains or gluten uh, as that can cause an immune reaction. So this can often go hand in hand uh, with that as well. Another thing that's really good to do is to avoid dairy. Many people with Hashimoto's also are sensitive to dairy and that can create stomach and gut issues, uh, as well as dairy can also increase inflammation in the body. Uh, number three is to make sure you want to eat whole foods Whole foods are nutrient dense, they're anti-inflammatory, they're antioxidants, and they may help with weight control. They may help uh, for general good health. They can help reduce the symptoms here. So make sure you eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, healthy fats, whole grains, lean proteins, uh, all that good stuff here. Uh, and number four is that you want to try and avoid soy. Uh, there's some evidence that soy may be harmful for your thyroid function. Um, we do need to do a little bit more research on this here uh, to see. Uh, there is a specific diet that's called the Autoimmune uh, Protocol AIP diet that gradually eliminates these foods uh, that may be harmful for the autoimmune system uh, and really cut down on them and focus on healthy, nourishing foods uh, that can reduce inflammation and that can be very helpful for weight loss uh, in the setting of Hashimoto's. So uh, something that would be very good that you can talk to your doctor about. It's the AIP diet, autoimmune protocol diet um, that you can look into. Uh, that's all we have for today. Thanks for listening. I hope you got something helpful out of this video. Uh, if you did, definitely please share it. Uh, if you'd like to hear more great tips, you want to make sure you want to click the subscribe button. Also, please like this video, share this video so our content shows up for other people who may be needing this help to improve their health as well. And remember, we're always here to help you take control of your health.